So to walk you through, of course we've got a fan up here that comes on with the power switch, as does the Acorn 24 and 5 volt power supply. This is a 48 volt uh, 10 amp power supply to power the stepper motors. Again, our stepper motors are here. This is the 110 volt common area where our grounds, 110 volt line and neutral fuses for the power supply and the stepper power supply and the relay that turns that power supply on. So you may not be able to tell it from the video, but you can see that the light is on on the acorn and stuck in under there. The power supply is actually formed up and I have a heartbeat on the acorn. I'm going to start the software and you'll notice once the software goes up and boots I have output 1 set up as a OK fault out and so it will take and if, watch, if you can watch that green light once the, the system boots up fine it now turns on this power supply so in any case there's an e-stop or anything that dumps that out. We got our acorn board here and I'm using step and direction off of the DB25 with uh, an adapter an adapter board that I prototype it's a low profile it goes in there and it gives me the connections for these type of drives uh, as also as an option uh, a VFD contactor if you have a VFD uh, you would uh, be able to use this to cut the power to that VFD and over here is a router relay it's a solid state relay 25 amp and it would it will be uh, available for anyone that needs a router to turn on a router or a drill or something to that effect so it just uh, toggles on uh, and off with automatically with the software if you want the or have a, a spindle in the VFD the spindle speed control is available uh, uh, to be put on and I can provide a harness for that. The last item down here are the user terminals. So what I've got is a terminal block and it's a little different difficult with the camera angle to see in under there but on the bottom row of these terminals is your negative 24 and positive 24 terminals, three of each. On the top row, you have the e-stop connection for your X limit home switch, your Y limit home switch, your Z limit home switch, a fourth axis limit home switch if you use that, and the tool measure switch or Z zero plate, whichever you're using. So with this system, basically everything is pre-wired and I've got instructions for it with you so that you can basically hook, plug your motors in to the five, four or five motor connectors and plug your limit switches in to here and I have instructions for most any and all kinds of limit switches. So it's pretty much a plug and play unit. I provided uh, grommets for the wire entry everywhere so if you have a router the router wire comes in here your limits come in that small one and your motor wires have a larger one here so you can it's all set for cable routing and should make a pretty uh, nice and neat deal gasketed cover cover with a lock and of course the shameless marketing stickers on the outside these units all come with a Lenovo refurbish tiny PC it they're a core i5 they have Windows 10 Pro on them they're all configured the software is loaded and all of the acorn settings are included they come with a keyboard and a mouse and in the case for ShopBot users if you send me a copy of your settings file I will install them all in and have your this ready and calibrated for you so you should be able to just plug it in and play and that's about it thank you